Hello YouTube. All right, as you can see, I've started the build on the van, but I'm building it on the fly and then designing as space, you know, allows. And originally I had thought of making the bed platform the width of this, which is um, four feet, I think. One, two, three. Yeah, I think it's like, I think it's like four feet wide, which would allow two feet per person to sleep because they're supposed to sleep two people and that would allow it to go across now that width right there is actually four feet from here to here the problem then is all you have room for is a bed you know going across so you, you gain like about uh, 10 inches or so this is maybe 9 or 10 inches extra um, by going four feet across the problem you run into is then storage is limited to the under compartment as well as underneath the bed. And if you decide to build a, a shelving unit or a cabinet area above, which I don't really want to do because I wanted this van to function like normal, um, you know, so that you could easily switch between like a normal van and a camper van. So what I'm thinking is maybe go this way lengthwise instead of crosswise so instead of um 48 inches we get approximately um 40 inches 39 40 inches for bedding and the reason for that is then i could actually install these plastic like i did on little blue plastic um cabinets right here i know it's hard to see because it is getting dark it's it's like 4 30 in the afternoon and it's dark already anyhow we can put the cabinet here and it comes right out to about right there so i think if i do that i can put like a cabinet right there and it'll come out right up to the bed like little blue had it and that would allow me to have a coat closet because i wanted to put the ability to hang you know like two or three coats jackets and stuff like that for the weather on this side it just means that the bed will be about the same size as a little blue, which is kind of um, tight for two people, but doable. So I think we'll do that, um, which means adapting my design. Hopefully I didn't waste the, those pegs that there I already cut for the, the width. I had originally cut it for the width, but now I'm, I'm gonna have to resize things. I had made the, the end piece here and I was sizing everything up. So at this point right now, it looks like we're going to make a um, platform like this. And that'll be the simplest thing. That way I can put cabinets on this side. The driver's side is right there. So when I look, you know, I still have a clear vision out the window here. And on this side, this window will not be accessible because there's going to be um, cabinets on this side and um, that's probably going to be the way to go and I'm still trying to figure out how to deal with the um, the folded seats you know I mean you could conceivably design it so that the seats fold all the way down but I don't want to do that I want to make it so that I can remove the the board that goes across I'm gonna have a board that goes across those two seats there but you can see it's not perfectly flat it's like angled so I'm gonna figure out how to handle that but I'm going to have um, a board that goes across so that um, the bed is actually somewhat long. Probably going to be about a um, six foot long bed, maybe five, ten, six foot. So it's going to be about a six foot or longer bed. And um, this way we have more storage space. And it might not seem important to have storage space if you're, you know, like a weekend camper, but... This is a design that I'm, I'm making so that if you needed to, you could actually live in it full time. So it, it's based on the original design for Little Blue. And I'm seeing that I'm going to have to make the bed less than four feet wide. So stay tuned. Oh, meanwhile. <laughs> I, um... 
the, the, as you can see, what, what I'm planning on doing is it, it looks like a lot of construction, and indeed it is, but it, it's going to have a platform that I can pull out, and it's going to be somewhat light, and then I think the closet should be able to be pulled out as well. Not the closet, but this cabinet area. And a little blue is mounted, you know, semi-permanent on this. I don't know if I'm going to somehow try to secure it without mount without screwing it into the the walls man it's so dark out here so um i think i'm gonna stop filming because it's so dark <laughs> but uh hopefully in the next update you'll see that it, it's been put together hopefully